Greetings diners and welcome to another edition of The Cooking Zone here on the Doomstead Diner. And today I'm uh, beginning or continuing a series that I'm going to be uh, pursuing over the next few months uh, as we prepare for collapse. Uh, which uh, is underway already, despite the su fact some people say it may come. <laughs> it's already here, trust me. Uh, and uh, um, one of my favorite topics in terms of preparing is uh, to uh, figure out how you're going to feed yourself, what kind of food, and how you can do it really, really cheap, okay? Uh, so, normally I operate on uh, a snap card budget, uh, which uh, means per person about $150 per month for as long as Trumpovetsky keeps the snap cards flowing. Because when those go, it's collapse, okay? I mean, real, big time collapse. Uh, so, today we are going to do a beef stew, all right? And uh, what this one's going to come from is, do you remember uh, that, I don't know how long it is between these videos, because I don't know when I'm going to use this, uh, that steak, a beautiful ribeye steak that I uh, made for Christmas dinner? Well, I'm using it in this uh, stew because I was only able to eat half of it uh, when it was brand spanking new okay and there was plenty left over and I considered making steak sandwiches but I haven't done a stew yet so uh, I figured a stew was a good idea and stews are easy okay especially if you got a little electric slow cooker which you can run inside of a section 8 motel room or at a campsite that has electricity and so forth. If you've got a source of electricity, you can use an electric slow cooker. Uh, and even if you don't, okay, the insert, which is a ceramic, you can take it out and you can put that over a low fire outside uh, made of charcoal or wood or whatever is available and you can slow cook that way. All right. So this is very versatile piece of equipment and what everyone should have one all right now this is a small size one for one person but actually what's gonna uh, this stew that I'm gonna make it's gonna last me at least three days probably four okay uh, uh, and it's probably enough for me to eat for the whole day uh, because my appetite is very depressed all right so let's get started on making this stew all right, and we're going to take a lid off, right? <laughs> okay, so first to go in is the leftover steak with the fat trimmed off, which I put in a plastic bag, produce bag, that I get for free <laughs> at uh, when I buy produce. Okay, I save these things to use uh, that way, uh, so I don't have to, you know, use Ziplocs and so forth, which you can spend a lot of money on Ziplocs. Okay, uh, this one now, though, I'm not saving. It's history. It, it had meat in it, and, uh, and it's probably got germs and, and bacteria and whatnot, so it's going in the garbage. So that's a decent amount of meat, okay? Now i got to see how much vegetables I can fit in this uh, one and a half quart uh, slow cooker. I have a bigger one, a three quart, but you know, if I make three quarts of uh, stew, then you know, I gotta have people to give it to because I can never eat it fast enough. All right, so important ingredients now we're gonna throw in some carrots, which I already cut up because you don't want to watch me cut things up on video. Okay. Mm, that's a pretty good amount of carrots. 
That's one carrot cut up. Okay. Those are Alaska carrots, the best carrots in the world. Okay. Uh, and we grow them big up here. We win uh, world championships in the size of our carrots and also cabbage. Uh, we grow very big cabbages here. Uh, you see it at the Alaska State Fair. If you do come to Alaska, that's a good time to come. Uh, the weather hasn't gotten too bad yet. And the State Fair, if you haven't been there a dozen times like me, is, is fun. Okay? Uh, it's no longer fun for me. It's just a trial. Uh, so I don't go anymore. All right. Now I'm going to add some potatoes. I'm using baby potatoes. All right. Which are a little more expensive. But they look cool. They taste cool. Uh, they're a little more buttery than your typical potato, but, uh, uh, what do you call it? You can use regular potatoes, quartered up, grow your own potatoes, use those. You know, all, all the veggies in here, pretty much, you can grow yourself. So, in making your stew, a lot of it, you should be able to supply for yourself, right? Okay. All right. I'm going to add one more ingredient right now, in terms of veggies, which is onions, okay? Uh, and you can't have a stew without onions. Alright, so that's a chopped up, about half an onion or so. Uh, a white onion, not a huge one. Uh, and you can use yellow onions, Spanish onions, red onions, whatever kind of variety of onions you want to use is fine. Uh, and I'm probably going to add some minced garlic to this, but I haven't gotten around to mincing the garlic yet. Uh, also, and now we're going to add our liquids, okay? Uh, that all this shit is going to stew in. All right. So we'll start off with, oops, don't want to get that in there. <laughs> We're going to start off with beef broth, okay? Regular commercial beef broth. Uh, now, it's better if you make your own beef broth, just like it's better when you make your own chicken broth. Uh, and uh, I don't know if you've seen my uh, videos on various chicken soups yet, because I don't know if I put them up yet. I don't know the order yet. <laughs> um, but... I'm not going to, I don't collect enough bones, beef bones, to make my own broth. So, uh, when it comes to beef, or anything with a beef broth uh, base, then I have to, uh, I have to go ahead and buy these, okay? But I expect these to be available for quite some time to come, okay? They're not going to disappear next year, all right? And we're just trying, we're, we're just trying to eat cheap right now we're not trying to uh, uh, deal with end of the civilization and we got to all grow our own food and do all our own stuff there are basics that I think that are going to be available for a few years to come all right uh, civilization is not going to collapse in a heartbeat hopefully okay it's possible with a banking collapse of a significant magnitude but I don't think that is likely in the very near term, okay? That's just my humble opinion. Uh, I have nothing substantial to base that on. All right, after the beef broth, the next important liquid is vino, <laughs> okay? Uh, now, all the alcohol cooks off, okay? So, it's not alcoholic uh, when you eat it. It's just in there for flavor. And don't use really expensive wine. Use a cheap one. This, uh, you know, and a red wine, okay? Not a white wine. Uh, this one is a Merlot, a Merlot, and it comes in at uh, $10 a bottle, okay? Very cheap. And then, I buy them uh, six at a time, so I get 10% discount. So it's actually only $9.10, okay? All right, so we add some vino. All right, that's good. And then, I'm gonna add some 
Worcestershire sauce. Okay, and I'm using generic because in a stew like this, you're not going to waste lean parents on it, okay? <laughs> uh, the generic is fine, and actually, as I've said before, I think that the, the Worcestershire inside here probably is made in the same factory that the lean parents is made in. Uh, uh, well, I'm going to have to put that in off camera because I forgot to take the uh, lid off or the uh, plastic off. Okay, so that's going to go in and a little garlic and so forth and uh, then I have one more ingredient that's going to go in later because if you put it in too soon it would get too soggy and that is cauliflower okay and the reason I'm putting cauliflower in here is because I've had this head of cauliflower in my fridge for quite some time and it was starting to brown up and go bad <laughs> which happens to me quite often. Uh, I see a nice veggie I want to buy, and uh, then it sits in a fridge. Uh, so I'm going to put this in later, which is why I left some room here, okay? Uh, and I, I, I doubt I can put all this in either. Uh, but I'm going to fill it up basically to the brim, and then I'm going to slow cook this probably uh, six hours, maybe, something like that. Okay, and then I'm going to taste it for flavor, and I also have to add flavor to it and uh, see how it is, which are good, are these little packaged beef broth or uh, beef stew uh, seasonings, okay? So this is for a quite a large quantity you know like you know a pound of beef and I, I'm working with maybe you know a third of a pound at the most and so I, I won't use the whole packet uh, I'll use part of it uh, so we'll see how it tastes uh, after it's been stewing for a while and how much I'll add okay all right all right that's all I do this time until next time on the cooking front here on the cooking zone of the Doomstead Diner. Eat well, eat cheap, eat nutritious, and prepare for the collapse of industrial civilization. Hasta la stoop.